Welcome back, everyone, to Halloween Haunts 365. Again, I'm Jared. And I'm Terry. What are we doing today? We are doing an interview. Yes. We <laughs> have the owner and creator of Devil's Last Laugh, probably 2023's biggest surprise for us. So we're excited to get him on here. So we are going to throw him in uh, now. We have Corey. Corey, how are you? Pretty good. How are you guys? Good. good. Excited to talk to you. <laughs> cool. I'm excited too. I appreciate you guys having me on. Of course. It was, it was when our computer went down, this was like, no, I want to have Corey. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Really do. Before we get started, how's the baby? She is awesome. Um, she's going to be turning one here next week. Wow. So I'm, I'm excited <laughs> about that. <laughs> That's awesome. We're just getting the interview questions we got for you here. Uh, since I'm blind, I got to turn this up a little bit here. There we go. All right. So my first question to you is now let's first mention Devil's Last Laugh. What's the city it's located again? Lee Heighton, Pennsylvania. Lee Heighton, That's the town. Uh, we're attempting a four peat next year, four in one night. So, of course, you're going to be part of that. We'll see if we can pull it off, but we definitely want to come back. But this was a fun haunt. You can check out a review of it from last year's review. And this man created it, built it, and it's amazing. So my question is, when did the Halloween bug bite you? Oh, man. <laughs> Probably when I was like 12 years old. Um, and actually, Halloween has always been one of my go-to things. But um, I drove race cars, started quarter midgets and all that since I was five. So the Halloween thing kind of got rolling for me when I was about 12, when um, this uh, city of Walnutport, they did a little haunted woods. And I was like, I got to I got to try this. And uh, that was awesome. So then next year I was like, yo, dad, I want to build my own thing and took my own uh, checkered maze there. And it just took off. <laughs> <laughs> and then that that was it that was it then i went to work for uh waldorf the state of fear huge shout out to waldorf they do a great job um they do hopefully returning this year is part of that four peat well, yep we'll see if we can pull it off that's a long night but that's okay hey, if yeah. i can pull off four <laughs> on a saturday it'll help the website <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty cool. and the four we're talking about is you can reach devil's last laugh waldorf for state of fear Halls of Horror, and what was the oh Hotel of Horror? Hotel of Horror, Hotel of Horror. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so some VIP tickets to make sure your timing hits right, but we're going for it. And I think I might make Shelly do it with us. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're gonna drag someone along for the adventure. We're gonna be sticky all night from Halls of Horror, but who gives a shit? That's okay. So when did you start haunting officially? Probably about that time, huh? Yeah. So, you know, once I ended up joining um, Waldorf, I uh, played Freddy Krueger there, got my own uh, mask, and I actually made my own claw. And I went to Angie, and I was like, I want to do Freddy. And she was like, oh, you got the job. <laughs> so I worked for her um, till actually, uh, when the heck was that? Like 2012, 2013? Okay. Um, because I ended up building my own home and, and just kind of stopped the Halloween thing for a couple of years. It happens. <laughs> Even us, we had a lull. Um, yeah. Probably 2019 and 2020, we didn't do as much as we usually do. And then 2021, I was like, yeah, hey, let's start a YouTube channel. And here we are. <laughs> yeah. We were a little <laughs> blog and it was so much easier. And now I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a lot i know that i mean going to angie's and just playing freddy was one thing um but you know now with the what i'm doing now is is totally a lot more but i love it i i love it <laughs> hey, it's important to love it so do you want to do number three there yeah where did the idea that's not number three. Oh, let's start with the idea for devil's last lap where mm. Let's start with where the idea for Devil's Last Laugh came from and the unique name. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I, um, I was always trying to think of a great haunted attraction name. 
And when I created Mr. Pickles for the parade floats that we were doing, um, I, I tried to establish that character. And I always thought about his laugh, like the laughing part of it. And I was in actually in the basement. We were doing, my dad and I were built, uh, doing some renovations down here, get doing some rooms. And I'm like thinking about this the whole time. Like, what could my name be? What could my name be? And I'm like, I always was into a haunt that had that like sinister devilish stuff, darkness that people, it just rubs you the wrong way. And um, not just guys jumping out at you at your movie characters and stuff like that. And then I was like, okay, devil. And then that, I was like, oh, there's probably a bunch of devil haunted houses, so I need something different. And I kind of just put it together and it was like devil's laughs. Then it was like devil's laugh. And I'm like, wait a minute, devil's last laugh. <laughs> and I don't know, it just stuck. And I'm like, yep, I'm going for it. So that's awesome. It's very different. So speaking of Mr. Pickles, what's the history behind Mr. Pickles? Because that was a really fun character this year. Cool, cool. Yeah, you scared so the crap out of I'm... me. <laughs> well, that's good. There's a bunch of them in there. Um, it used to just be me. but um, So the story with that is when I created the um, Halloween floats, I wanted to make my own character that he would stand out. And I took the floats to all the parades I possibly could to to get a following for when one day I hope to open my own haunted attraction. And Mr. Pickles was this corny clown that I wanted to come up with. And he kind of stuck with me and I created the voice. And I'll never forget, I was working at Waldorf and I was playing Freddy Krueger. And I introduced that character at Waldorf in the entertainment. I was just doing the entertainment lines and stuff. And I remember running out totally wardrobe trained out to Angie as Mr. Pickles with like this high pitched voice versus the Freddy of the deep voice. And she was like, who are you? <laughs> she really didn't know at first who it was. And then she caught on, but um, I never really knew if I was going to be able to play another character because I was always Freddy for like 10 or 11 years. And I was like, I got to make this character. He ended up being a really big success for me. Like people came to this last year and they were like, I want Mr. Pickles. So we were selling t-shirts and, and the Christmas thing, we had ornaments made and <laughs> everybody right. wants to see Mr. Pickles. So it became tough for me because last year I also acted a little bit more and I was out like almost every weekend entertaining where I would be in the haunt. And I'm like, I can't, it's a lot. It's dude. tough. Yeah. But I was out for the Christmas show. Um, Cause you know, I had to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. All right. So before we dive deeper into the haunt, uh, my hat's off to you for having a couple of serial killer themed rooms. I've been waiting a long time to see that. Um, I think you stopped. I did stop. <laughs> I did. And you're like, I think I started I'm... clapping. Yes. <laughs> I know I, when I watched uh, the, the video you guys did, you were talking about that. And that's always been something I wanted in my haunted attraction because most people don't do it. And mm -hmm. I remember you saying there was two and I don't think Terry knew what the second one was. <laughs> oh, I had to tell her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you did tell her? Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, so actually uh, most of those mannequins all came from the freaking fun house. Okay. I, um, I became very good friends with the owners of that um, haunted attraction. Well, it used to be haunted attraction. And um, they kind of helped me pretty much figure out what I needed to do to get the ball rolling, you know, between the townships and everything else, because I didn't really know that part. Yeah. Um, my dad had a big, not a lot of knowledge with boroughs and townships and what to do. And I lost him in uh, 21 because of COVID. So I didn't have, I went to them, I bought a prop and they were like, oh, we'll, we'll help you. I seem like a nice kid and stuff. So. Now they're like my best friends. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Yeah, that's the one thing I love about this industry is I have a whole bunch of new best friends. And like we even talk daily all season long. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So I love the serial killer rooms. I love mm -hmm. the balls it took to put in a serial killer room because you just don't <laughs> see it. You don't. I understand both sides, but for me, this shit happened. So it's an extra jolt. Like clown rooms are fun. Freddy's awesome, but we've all seen that a thousand times. 
The serial killer is a new addition to a haunt. Yes, and I'm 100 percent for it. Awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And that was something, like I said, I didn't know how that was going to go. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I'm doing. And, and I see both sides as well. So yeah. it's kind of it's tough, but it's a haunted house, you know. So yeah, you gotta you gotta leave your Karen at the door. It's just you know you're there to have fun. You didn't yeah. pay to go complain. And that's what people need to understand. Don't go. Zach the Mundo. <laughs> True. Do you have any fun stories from 2023? Um, fun stories. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really know. That's that's a good question. Um, I do have one where um, we had a customer that came through and he was completely petrified. And he did come last year and he knocked over one of the nuts guns that because he was that scared and it fell over and i kind of watched it on i'm like i see him like jump back into it it wasn't like he did it on purpose and he literally came out and he was telling uh, my wife amanda tickets like i'll pay for the prop and he's going on he's like i love this haunt i love you guys you know and he but he was so scared so it was so funny to see and she's like uh Corey, we have this gentleman down here and he knocked over the nun and he wants to pay i'm like I picked it up. It's fine, you know. And <laughs> it was. We laughed about it then after that because he came actually. I think two more times um, this past year. That's and awesome. he's like, I can't. I can't get enough of it. He's like, there's so much that I want to look at, and he's like, you guys scare me every time. <laughs> but I thought that was a really cool story, just because most people wouldn't have done that. You know what I mean? I, I think if they would have backed into it or whatever fell, they either were so scared they just would have went out. Yeah. But he was like so set on, I got to do something about this. <laughs> That's good to hear. Yeah. That's good to hear. Yeah. When you do go through haunts, you kind of, you don't see everything the first no, time. Never so do. you have to go through a few more times. Yes. Yeah. And by that time they change it up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> some places some places we'll say most places most places yeah there's yeah. others where i last was through in 20 uh what did we start 2015 yeah and i can walk through today and it'd be like yep that's there that's there that's um, there yeah yeah that i mean we're at the point now we're in a building stage so i gotta i gotta put a limit on some stuff you know i last year i i really changed a lot and added a lot more which needed to be done um but I see the point of not doing so much, but I also see like you gotta make changes. Like yeah. I, I still listen. I, I'm a huge proponent on not spending money to make changes. Like if you change a light from red to blue, people are gonna think it's a brand new fucking room. Yeah, and that's what some places don't understand. It's like when I say you need to change, I don't mean you need a hundred thousand dollar attraction in your room. I'm saying move the fucking prop. <laughs> yeah. You can even yeah. keep the same prop. Just move it to a different corner. Like little adjustments will make people that don't do this. Like we do we're like, Oh my God, this looks brand new. They don't yeah. fuck. Even me. I've been to feel the screams 15 times, right? At least I still don't fucking realize that they did something different. Yeah. It's just, you know, they do change a lot, but I don't remember from year to year. And it's hard for me to do because, I mean, 40 of these, they all kind of run together at some point. But, like, people take it as, like, oh, you know, you can't just change the traction. Like, you can. Uh, a different light bulb and move that prop to there by a sink. Ten bucks. Yep. Yep. And, and placement's everything. You know, you can move something a million times. Yeah, add more light. Make it scarier take away light i mean there's just so many different things you could do so like people always take it the wrong way when i'm like well you need to change this i don't mean you need to turn it from a clown room to a nun room because that's a hundred grand yeah who the hell has that <laughs> <laughs> all right so any lessons learned from the past year of running your own haunted attraction lessons learned well <laughs> Yeah, you know, the actors are, are a big part of the whole show. And I really tried to focus on having a lot of them, making sure they're doing their jobs. But what I've really learned was a lot of them don't stick it through, you know, and, and that's something that kind of struggled for me at the end. But luckily, people that I that 
love doing this. They're like, oh, I'll call my buddy quick. And, you know, he loved to do this. And it actually worked for me. Like they brought him in and it was like, this is what you're doing. I gave him the run through because I, I teach all my actors as well. And I'm like, this is what you need to do. He jumped right in there. And it was good. But that's like one of the biggest things I learned is like <sighs> your actors being dependent. Like it, it, you can rely on them, yeah. you know? That's it's, 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 it's everybody has that same issue it's tough if you're 30 years old in the whole industry or just starting out it's the acting actress part especially today like it's so rare to find that haunt actor not that part-timer that haunt actor who wants their character builds their character and it's so hard for us to do interviews because those are the dudes i want to interview but there's not yeah. a lot of them and yeah. guess what we're getting fucking older <laughs> so we're kind of running out of them <laughs> yeah it's it's tough i got a couple of them in it and they just love it they love it you know and that's the key but you know i like them too because they also help try to find replacement you know someone if somebody doesn't show up my biggest problem was i want my show i don't care if it's a sunday and there's hardly anybody there i don't care about that at all i want the show to be all my actors in all the rooms and the whole show you know, it's just, yeah, sure, Sundays, a lot of places I know that I've been to didn't see, they kind of go a little lower on their actors, but I don't, if if I can't, don't have to, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. we've yeah. seen it too, but it uh -huh. wasn't by design. It was, you know, Correct. some people wanted to stay home and watch the Eagles or, you know, yeah. shit like yeah. that, especially when the Phillies are in the playoffs and the Eagles are playing on Sundays in the middle of haunt season. Like, yeah, it's, it, I love it because I'm a huge Phillies and Eagles fan, but it sucks for you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I forget where we were for... It was an Eagles game and a playoff game, and I don't think there was more than 50 people in the midway. Yeah. And I, and that's that's what I learned. You know, it, it, it's tough. And, you know, if I got to jump in, I'll jump in. But I, I honestly don't. It's tough for me to do that. And I enjoy being able to to ask the people, you know, what they thought right coming from me, you know. <laughs> that's awesome that's very cool uh do you have a highlight moment from last season huge win something that shocked you anything that happened last year that really kept you engaged yeah so i would say um the ha the halloween thing i had a bunch of people come through that they literally were never here they never heard about it and um they came from wilkes Bear. they came from uh philadelphia and that was like, wow, you know, we're just suddenly hiding here and I just started this thing and I'm building it up and I got all, I got people traveling that distance. And, you know, I only have the, the born, I mean, I have the scare zone thing right now, but I, I didn't know if they were going to be like, oh man, I drove all this way and it, it's not long enough. It's not this, it's not that, you know, and they came out and they were like, oh, it was awesome, you know, and then for 15 bucks and what you got going on and and that was like my wow you know yeah uh, and the second thing was our christmas show that was actually pretty good for us i mean it wasn't it it wasn't probably as big as what like feel the screams and them guys are doing but for us it was a really good show for one night honestly the off-season <laughs> events are rough for haunts because you usually get us out there like the super fans yeah but i mean if you're happy with the what you got um that was actually our next question uh how did the christmas show turn out <laughs> <laughs> um yeah well so what happened with that is my growing up my dad was huge into christmas he actually made lights that um like hershey park and lights in the parkway downtown that used to, like move and stuff he was building them when i was a kid and then he made his own motors and stuff to make them work and i have them up here now and I said to my wife, I was like, man, I was like, I really like to put dad's lights out this year if I can get them going. And I'm like, wait a minute, the lights would be awesome. I wanted to do the Christmas haunt regardless, but I was like, they could be coming down the driveway there and have all his lights. So I put as many, I think I had like seven or eight of them up, wow. like big igloo with penguins sliding off and stuff. So I had that whole thing and then the haunt. And it actually, I think, encourage people to come check it out because it was the haunt, but there was also like a little bit of lights, you know. Um, it's pretty it cool. worked out good. It, it, it did. So we're going to definitely do it next year for sure. Oh, yeah. I like that idea. Yeah. 
<laughs> Are you going to do any other off-season events? Not this year um, or next, but like in the future, do you see doing like St. Patty's or Valentine's or anything like that? So, yeah, um, I did. When I went to the township for the whole thing, I did pitch the idea of Valentine's Day because um, I'd like to try to do something with the haunt. But then there's like a, a dance thing after that with tables set up with like hearts in the middle as the centerpiece and stuff. You know, and like combine the whole thing. An actual um, haunt date night. Pretty much. And and I I really am loyal to the fire company and the police department, stuff like that. I want to give them some donations and stuff because um, I put a jar out for people to do that. So I was like, if I can make that happen, that even if we shuttle them down to the fire company for Valentine's Day dance and decorate their hall for that, you know, maybe it would help the community as well. So. It's in it's in here, but I, I don't know when I'm gonna do it. Hey, I I'm completely gonna... understand. I got a lot up here, but who the fuck knows when that's coming out? <laughs> you she knows it. all about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh where do you find inspiration for your scenes? So I'm a big uh fan of Halloween Horror Nights. Okay. And Universal. Um, also, I, I like to watch a lot of the lower budget horror movies like Netflix and stuff like that. Um, but mainly, it's just me and my my one couple of my buddies. Like we just constantly are throwing ideas of like we should do this and I should do this. And normally, what happens is I'll come up with something and then run it by them, and it ends up like, dude, this is yours anyway. So, <laughs> but they give me some great ideas as well because then they go home and they watch different things or look things up. But I've always liked the detail work in Horror Nights. I mean, they have the money to, to do that. Yeah. They have the <laughs> time and the budget and the people. Yeah. yeah, Correct. So a lot of times, like this year, I spent a lot of time on one set and it, it showed, but I spent a lot of time on it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I always just thought if I can do something good like that that's going to make people be like wow this place is really cool and it's kind of where i'm i, I kind of bounce everything off of everything <laughs> well, that's cool it's good yeah. to have a little committee i have a committee but they're two idiots <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite part of creating a haunt i would say um the construction part of it and and the detail work i enjoy building the set i mean i like designing it and whatnot and i like to seeing it come together but the fav my favorite part is making it happen like building everything and there's times where i put something up and i'll just tear it right back down and it's just like nope not, not the way i wanted it you know no matter what it is on paper and, or whatnot but that's kind of my favorite part that's really awesome mm -hmm. that would probably be mine too I mean, mine, I, I throw out shit all the time. I'll send her a video. She likes it. I don't fucking like it. Delete. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, what do you love about the haunt industry? Oh, man. Everything. <laughs> everything. I, it's, everybody's just so nice and and they're all like supportive of each other. And I think that's great. And that's what needs to happen and stay, you know, because at the end of the day, like people that love it, they're going to go to multiple haunts. So it, it, I like how everybody wants to help each other. I yep. think that's really a good thing. Um, but I, from that to the people making their own masks and then guys in their garages just making stuff. And it's just a really neat thing. It, it really, um, I, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I really wish the season was from, like, June to November so I could hit, like, home haunts, but we get six weeks. Maybe seven if you push certain things, but six weeks to hit as much as we humanly can. Because some of the home haunts are impressive. Absolutely. And, and they kill themselves out of it for nothing, you know what I mean? And I'd love to praise them more, but it's just, just not, not an option. That's That's kind of, like... When when I did mine, I mean, I'm glad it's here. It's on the property. But it's it's also like when you come to this attraction, it's almost like you're going to a home haunt. I mean, right? Like, you, Yeah, right. I won't lie to you. It does look like, like yep. wow, I drove here for a home haunt. And then you yeah. get that fucking pole bar, and I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, and, and that's kind of, 
you know, you do it, these guys do this stuff for one night in their homes or whatever, or trick or treat or a weekend or whatever. And it's like, man, if, if only they could, you know, be a part of what we do. And you know what I mean? It's, I love to go see that because they try to make as much as they can. Yeah. And that's something I like to do. I like to try to make stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like there's, there's a lot of cool shit out there that we don't get to say. No, no. Maybe one year we'll work on it. Uh, any favorite horror movies? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely The Nightmare on the Street. Um, like I said, I played Freddy Biggs. I'm a fan of that. Um, I'll take a I, video of my actual whole collection and send that to you when we're done. Yeah, it looks it looks badass just looking at it. <laughs> what I can see. Anyway. Yeah, um, um, we have a Jason artifact above my head. This is actually uh, Night of Terror manager Brian Copen. That's a mug from the diner from Friday the 13th. So I have to get that to him. So there is a cheat up there, but all the rest is Friday. Okay. <laughs> I kept yeah. it up there to keep it safe for him, but I don't want to fuck it up there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It don't belong. Um, the other the other one I really like is I've always liked Scream. I was like the ghost face character. Yeah, because, I mean, at that time, horror was in a lull. It was very... Because we're talking... It was 94. Six, right? Scream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Freddy's dead. Jason's. They're about to send Jason to space five years later. Like horror was in a weird spot, and then Wes Craven just killed it. And honestly, I wasn't a huge fan of Scream Six, but I wasn't like fuck this movie. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like they they all kept the line. It was all interesting. It was fun. I, I thought they were all fun. They had the comedic aspects to it. It was a good time. I haven't seen Scream Six yet. It, it's if you're a fan <laughs> of the series, you might like it. Okay. If you like five, you'll like six. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought they were all pretty good, but um, it's different. Yeah, that, that would probably be my second favorite or Yeah, it's, sure. they didn't do what Halloween did and just gave it to two potheads who I feel never watched the movie. But <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's get in the next haunt season any details you want to share about 2024 that you're bringing the devil's last laugh you don't have to you can keep it all under wraps it's up to you well yeah i mean i, I i'm okay with that so um the walks below sound and the pool barn will have um two new rooms in it uh for sure I, i'm definitely going to shoot for that and one of the um, <laughs> one of the biggest things about the addition is I'm really going to try to dress up when you when you first come in where the, the building actually stands. So you're in my building, in the pole building, and then I had the asylum building. There will be an expansion on the one side of that. What? Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I thought it looked cool. Like right. that's where my mind was blown looking at that facade with the theatrical actor. That's where I was just like, all right, this is a lot more than I was expecting. Yeah, yeah. So the way we're gonna do it, it's not gonna take away from that. But okay. um, yeah, I'm I'm excited about it. I think it'll be awesome. Now, what's really cool about it, the one obviously the other room is definitely gonna happen. But with this in front of the facade, what's neat about this is if I don't get it done, you'll never know, kind of thing. So I'm I'm gonna try to make it the best I can. And if I don't feel it's comfortable yet, I'll I won't just open that room. But I'm playing. Um. The sideshow scare zone deal um, that originally was supposed to be like a sideshow little walkthrough, um, and then this year I decided, you know what, I'm just going to do a scare zone because I want to do them on the trees, which is a walking wooded trail. So I was like, man, I have kind of each thing, and uh, so I'm, I'm actually I was working in the garage today on a set for the scare zone. I want to try to beef that whole thing up a lot better. That's really awesome. Is. And then Among the Trees is in the works. Um, it did say 2024, but I decided that I would like to put more time into that. And I, I'm planning on 2025. For that. That's cool. That's a good idea because, I mean, when you're dealing with outside, I mean, you know, it's it's a whole other animal. Uh, mm -hmm. Between GFIs and power and level ground and... It's rough. <laughs> yeah. Plus, I mean, I had the whole idea pretty much in stone, 
Um, but I've been adjusting it now and I, I just don't want to rush it. I don't want to, I don't want to open. And if even that 2025, if I go through it and it's not where it is, I, I just want to open it. Yeah. I, that's how I am. You know, now when I did the barn the first year, I didn't have a choice. Like I worked all the time. I'm like, I got to open this thing, you know, but that's kind of where I'm at with that. Cool. Yeah, and you can okay. ask a question. Any 2024 goals for the haunt? Yeah, um, try to get more people here. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's like the good. biggest goal. I'm trying to spread the name out now. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm at. Um, and, and, and just having people, hopefully they continue to enjoy it and and like what we're doing. Yeah, we when we came out to you, we we weren't sure what we were doing that night. Remember? Right, because we went certain... up that area the night before. Yeah. So I was like, we could have just did it last night, but what you know what? Whatever. I've read so many good reviews from people I trust. I was like, I need to fucking see this place. Didn't we just come back <laughs> from Yeah, we were went the halls of horror the night before. And then you we know, drove right yeah. back up. <laughs> okay, because I was thinking we had just came back from Louisiana too. Mm -hmm. No, it was before we left for okay. Louisiana. I think. But yeah, we I had you to guys came on a Sunday, right? Yeah, yeah, yep. okay. Because we were supposed to go. I think it was the Headless Horseman, and I screwed up the schedule, and they weren't open. So we were like, we got to go somewhere. Uh, and then I kept reading and seeing Devil's Last Laugh. I'm like, all right, we're just gonna go. And <laughs> you know, you'd pull. And I'll be straight up with you, man. You pull up, you're like, all right, that's that guy's house. We're at a home haunt. I drove back up here for a home haunt. Uh -huh. So I get the ticket, I walk through, I'm like, the sideshow's cute, you know, awesome. Then we get inside the pool bar and I see the facade, I'm like, alright, this is not a fucking home haunt. And then the theatrical <laughs> security guard at the beginning did a hell of a job. And then, like, I'm walking through the halls watching the video. And you're watching the security guard up top, I'm like, alright, th this is a haunt. And then it just continued the, really wow me the entire way through. Oh, yeah. It it was awesome. You made her scream, which was a plus. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm glad you you know that you're straight up with me with that. Cause that's one thing that I did think about, you know, before we would even decide to open this. And I'm like, you know, it could turn people away for sure. Um but I do enjoy having it here as a Oh yeah. A, because now with the little one, I'm able to go out there and work and I'm at home. You know, and I always like, I always thought when we put up the pole barn for storage, <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, when we put it up, I thought, man, how, I, I like that element of surprise. Like you're going to go into this building, there's no real facade on it or nothing. And then it's like, holy shit. You know, that's something that yep. I, I just thought, man, that would be cool. It'd be different, yeah. you know, different. And while and, we're outside watching the video, waiting to go in. Like, why didn't they just put a facade out here? Like, what's going on? And then you walk in and see the facade. I'm like, it's a wow factor. So then I was just like, this is fucking awesome. So that's a funny story, too. Um, what, what, I, what I did is I did a Halloween party um, the one year. And my dad helped me build that facade. And we, we built it for outside to cover where the exit is now, the two garage doors. And... I'll tell you what, having that up. So the last, uh, the first year I did this, um, I did that the same way. I brought them in the same way and all season. Now I'm not doing a one night thing. Now I'm doing a whole month and the facade, you know, in the middle of the night, I'm like, Oh my God, hopefully it's still standing up, you know? And I'm like, I can't, I can't do this. And I'm like, I've always wanted that element of surprise. So I'm like, I wonder if it would fit inside. And I measured it, and I'm like, no way. It will fit right underneath the truss. I'm like, I'm doing it. And it literally goes right to the truss. That's crazy. It, it was like, man, did he, did he plan it that way or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but I like the shock factor more now that I, like we've talked about it. It just... Because you don't know what to expect in a pole barn. You don't, You have no, no idea what theme no you got. Clue. It's, you know... <laughs> like, I love facades. Don't get me wrong. It's one of my favorite things about the haunt industry. Nothing makes me happier than seeing, like, a structure of a house before I walk through the house. You know what I mean? And not just walking into a tent. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. But you you have both. You have that surprise factor and the facade as soon as you walk in. It was a wow moment. Yeah. yeah cool. And I love the detail. Just the little things. Like the sign that says gas. Just on yeah. the wall that you know you can't go into. But that little sign makes you feel like it's a door. Whereas yeah. a lot of places it would just be gray. <laughs> yeah. I try to focus on that. Because I want to try to make it as realistic as possible. Yeah. And it was. Yeah. We couldn't remember the number. <laughs> oh, the code. Yeah, that that's something I I tried, and and some people don't remember it. Um, but the the first year we did this, we actually put um you in um a little shed area, and they gave you the code in the video there. Yeah. So and it seemed to work better, but I didn't have time for that this year. So <laughs> no, it was cool because it was like towards the end, and I'm like, what code? Yeah. I'm looking yeah. at too much cool shit. <laughs> No, it was pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you dying over there? Mm-hmm. So the goal for 2024 is to keep spreading the word and get more people the devil's last laugh. Yep, that's pretty much the goal. I like you it. Know, and show everybody what we got going on. And that way, when Among the Trees is open, you know, they're they're excited about it, hopefully. <laughs> oh, the industry loves the outdoor trails, too. We really do. I mean... There's so few of them these days that it's it's exciting to hear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got any questions for Corey? No. No? No. You're just done asking questions? <laughs> I don't have any more. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him the important one, how the baby was. Oh, yes. The, <laughs> the little right. one. That is an important one. Yeah, she's awesome. She's awesome. That's so but cool. Great. Um, a great mother, you know, and great wife for sure, you know, letting me do this and then also helping me, you know, and, and our parents are great, you know, they come and watch her and stuff for us when we were running the show. So it all kind of worked out, but you know, I, I can't wait till, uh, Sophia's out there. <laughs> <laughs> I literally had the witch called her up and I literally had, uh, fake dolls and just sat her there. That's adorable. Staring at it. <laughs> I like scare actor in training. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's great. Yeah, you got to start them young. I didn't start mine young enough, and now they won't go. I have a freshman in high school who still refuses, and a uh, 11, 11 year old who uh, wants no part of it. I I get them to go to Bloodshed's drive through. I guess because they're in a car, they feel better. But okay. uh, they they still. Well, Cole's fine in there because he's like, oh, that looks really cool. I'm like, this is what you're missing, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but once his friends start getting interested, I'm sure he'll be like, oh, daddy, do you know guys here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't so. <laughs> you don't think so? At the kids today, they just, they don't want yeah. to. We'll see. <clears throat> or maybe I'll just grab him by his ear, leave Gavin with his mom, and make him do it. <laughs> You know, that's how I learned to swim. I got tossed in the friggin' bay. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it, it that's something we've seen this year. We've seen a lot of um, adults bring in their, their kids and stuff and, and parents and young kids. Uh-huh. And it's yeah. like, and they come out and they're like, that was awesome. And it's like, wow. And not to, I didn't think they were going to think that, you know, I figured they were going to be born. And I'm like, but I was happy they enjoyed themselves. So it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Me, but. I mean, yeah. you can beef, and that's. I'm seeing a split show up in the industry. Some are going for that family fun ticket and really killing the intensity, but there's others that do both. So why can't we just do both instead of catering yeah. towards? I get it. Four tickets is better than two, but yeah. when you kill your intensity to get those four, you're losing those other two. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I've I've noticed it with a few places. I don't name names because they're still great haunts, but things that used to be like, "Wow, that was fucking epic." Now I'm like, "What is this?" Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I, I just find it interesting the way because you want to cater to both because you know it's all about that bottom line. But at what stake? That's why, like, you know, there's still a lot of the places we go. Eight years old wouldn't have a problem. No, I mean. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, you're not taking them to Haunted Hoochie or anything. That might be a little issue. And Halls of Horror might be a little issue, but it's still fun because it's all fun. <laughs> but I've seen... Halls of Horror. Okay, you saw a baby get shot out of the between the legs. <laughs> <laughs> it was very different. I didn't tell. I like. I knew a little bit about Halls of Horror. I just never made it up there, so I told her nothing. I had no. Uh, I I had no clue. And I like. I really wanted to get up there. This is so lame. It's so Freddie could have the T-shirt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the blood experience T-shirt. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so. Like, I knew what they did, and I didn't tell her a single word until, like, we pulled up. I'm like, we get a t-shirt. She's like, really? I'm like, yeah, you need it. Like, you get goggles, too. She's like, what are we doing? <laughs> I had oh, no boy. idea. But you made it through. I did. <laughs> she had a blast, too. And I was laughing the whole entire time. It was so much fun. These guys, man, talk about... Their back and forth is impressive, because they got to deal with customers actually talking back to them. Yeah. And they had they were they were quick every room. It was impressive. But enough about that. Devil's last laugh. I know. You got any further questions? I don't. You don't? No. I just can't wait to go back. Yes. Yes, yes. We we awesome. will definitely be back. It was a great night. Well, I don't have any questions either. Do you want to tell people where to find you on the social medias and all that? Yeah, I mean we're on Facebook and Instagram. Um those are the two big ones. And at our website, Devil's Last Laugh Haunt.com. Yeah, and the logo is awesome, which I've had on our screen for the whole video, so that helps. <laughs> okay, awesome. And I uh, like the hat. I do like the hat. What's that? I like your hat. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that it turned out really good. We kind of, we, we got our logo and everything um, this year and, and made that adjustment change from what we originally started with, and everything turned out great. Very yeah, cool. I like it. Yeah, I need to get a sticker to put you. If you notice above Terry's head, we have stickers from every haunt that we've been to that offer stickers. Okay. Yeah, I got one. All right, cool. Yeah. I'll have to get okay. that from you. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> have to go on a wall. Yeah, and I'll shoot that video when we're done so you can see the amount of shit I actually have. Mm -hmm. I'm game for that. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a real glove, but it broke. It fell off. And it's like six or seven years old, so the, the blades popped off. So mm -hmm. that's in a box getting sent back to uh, Nightmares Unlimited. Check them out on Facebook. That's okay. my boy Mark. He does amazing work. He actually makes the trophies for like Horror Hound Weekend. Oh, and wow. They did a uh, Night Run Elm Street 3 reunion, and he made them all plaques. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so he's done a lot of cool shit. It's funny you say about the knives falling off because when I was doing uh, Freddy up at the Waldorf, I helped her build sets and stuff as well. Then once, you know, up there for Freddy and others. And so many nights I come home and the, cause I actually had it that I could wirelessly like walk around with the glove and hit the pipes and they would all spark and carry on. Oh, that's awesome. The blades started falling off. <laughs> so I went down to the shop and I started welding them all on. <laughs> That's what yours needs and then to be done. New ones. Yeah, I need to weld mine. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty neat. It was pretty neat. Yeah, I love that thing. It took me twenty years to get. I even like when well, when I met him was at a Monster Mania convention, and he okay. has the giant. He has like a seven foot steel Freddy glove, so you can see it from anywhere. So I wow. go up to him, and he makes gloves from every movie. Like, even the power glove, one, two, three, the giant Freddy vs. Jason glove, he makes them all to the screen. And um, I wanted one so bad, but I didn't have the money. He's like, dude, just email me. We'll do payment plans, and when you finish it off, I'll send it. Like, yes. That's so, like, awesome. I paid him, like, 50 bucks every month when I had it, because remember, I was in the middle of all that bullshit. And uh, he sent it to me, and it was, I played with that thing for, like, an hour on my back porch, like, just, because <laughs> I waited so long to have a real glove. Yeah. And, yeah. like, the the NECAs are cool, because, I mean, it is metal, but it's not the same. Like, this is, it has brass on it. Like, I love this glove. Yeah, they're cool. It sounds really cool, too. And and that's what makes it, dude. That's what makes it. Yep. <laughs> I mean the 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 weight of the brass, the sound of the brass. The the gloves even burned out in the palm. Like I'll I'll pull it out and shoot a video of when I do the whole room. 
Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, so you got no other questions? Nope. I got no other questions. We're going to let right. you go. Make sure you follow Devil's Last Laugh. Better more, make sure you make a uh, schedule to get out there. When do tickets go on sale? Like July? Um, I don't know about July. <laughs> Listen, I am trying to talk to you. Every... have the schedule ready. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, listen, I'm trying to make a movement in the haunt industry to start selling tickets in May. Because <laughs> then I could get them more. Because you could space out go. the payments. You know what I mean? Yeah. We could buy true. one a week and get to like 40 haunts. Well, but we, we, we could sell you one. Hit <laughs> <laughs> me up in July. Let me know. <laughs> I'll, I'll just try to. This just trying to, <laughs> I'm just trying to help out the community, you know. <laughs> I'm up, dude, as soon as those tickets start going on sale, I start piling up papers over here. I'm like, yep, it's payday. I'll buy two here. Okay. Uh, they need to know what day I'm coming. Fuck. Can't do that one yet. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. That's worth a shot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Corey. Right. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank you of course. This has been Halloween Haunts 365, where every day is haunt season. Goodbye. Bye.